If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com, and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over what you guys should be doing in Madden 21 right now, guys. And the thing with this is, a lot of people are probably at a standstill at this point where they've done a lot of the solos that they thought they should do. And they've done some stuff with the auction they thought they should do. And now they're kind of just waiting for what's next. But there's still a decent amount to be done right now. First, I'm going to cover the basis of what should be already done. And then we should go forward doing and looking to looking forward to doing in the very near future. Now, it's going to be a kind of composition of everything. The yesterday is what to do with your coins. It's a very different video than what to do now. This is more so based on where you should be in Ultimate Team and what you should be kind of focusing on at this period of time. Especially because we're kind of like in that Madden Limbo state. we got the Legends. We got Superstar Promo MVP. We don't have that consistency yet. We don't have the heavyweights, the flashbacks, the veterans, the signature series, the team of the week, the legend of Saturdays. We don't have everything in yet. So while we wait for that, what you should be doing right now, I'm going over all that, guys. Before we get to the video, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. We're doing the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Can this be the video that pushed us over 23,000? We're super close, boys. Make sure to smash that sub button. We're like 30 subs, 50 subs away, somewhere in that range. Smash the like button and comment down below. Let me know if you've done how many of the things you've done. What you got left? Do you think I missed anything out that I should have added to this? But guys, let's get into the video. So first things first, just to cover some ground. Now, the first thing you want to do, guys, should just be get to levels 50. Work on that first if you're not there already. Now, I'm fully four levels away. I've gotten the majority of the stuff I want to get. Again, I do get the level of pass and stuff. But the power pass, I haven't really rushed it so much yet. Because the 88 power pass isn't that useful just yet. Because the power ups for those players are super expensive. Like Aaron Donald, Tyree Kill. So we're waiting for the markets to come down anyways. I haven't felt the rush. The video for maximum level is old already at this point. I was I got locked out for the week. It was a whole mess. So in terms of that, I've been doing like 5 to 10 levels per day. Just grinding out very slowly. Enjoying it. While because I also have to do all these videos. And after doing all these videos, I don't always want to go and just spam solos. Trust me. I want to play online, but I can't buy a team yet. So anyways, cover that base. Get that done. Of course, guys, one thing that you always want to be checking over, like always, just keeping on top is your month dedication page. Make sure you check out your series when multiplayer wins, which I'll get to in a second. And of course, you want to be checking out your Mutt Master. Now, make sure you're completing these because Mutt Master progression is super important to get them up. Now, this is going to be your all year, though, so you have time for these. Make sure you're checking out Mutt Master Series 1, getting your things up. Again, I haven't played a lot of online games, so I've been trying to wait for my team. So I, I might just start playing with the bad team I have now, just because I want to play and it's getting really annoying that I have to wait and the market hasn't crashed yet. But in terms of this, Make sure you're getting these done because after Series 1, these will go away and then you will lose out on the opportunity to get the plus 1 overall boost for them, which is super important in terms of getting them up. And then again, you're going to miss out on it once. You'll be behind most of the year if you miss that for the most part. So make sure you're checking out that. And then of course, beyond that guys, make sure you have all your big... You should have all your NFL epics done. You should have all your team affinity... Not team affinity, sorry. All your NFL epics done, your rivals, and you should have all your legend solos done for the tokens. Now, one thing that you can be doing, guys, if you guys have checked out the solo specifically, like the NFL Epics and those, some of the rewards beyond getting the players, if you get like max, max stars and everything, you do get those 80 plus nat elites. I recommend you get those done if you have some spare time, get those done. Just throwing that out there before I get into the bulk of what I want to talk about here, but make sure you're getting those done as well because you can get an 80 plus elite. You can get me Hopkins, Donald, Tyree Kill, maybe an 80, but take the chance. It's free, it's on your main account. Now, on a side account, do you want to be doing that? Maybe not because if you get something good, it'll probably be really upsetting. I know a guy who has like 87 Tyree killed Matt and his team that definitely sucks. But here's what I really want to focus on right now. So in the, po in the point of Madden that we're in right now, like Madden Limbo, waiting for some stuff to come out, you really want to be focusing on your Series 1 trophies. I think that's super important right now for multiple reasons. We do not have a lot of Series things to do with trophies right now. But we do have John Madden Coach. And John Madden Coach is fun to get. We don't have a Series mask. I don't believe we're getting one. But get your trophies up. In the, in the best way you can right now because this shaman collectible i would recommend just getting as much you can get up to five of these so you can really grind these out and get a lot of these and get these done for the most part because 600 times five is three thousand getting three thousand trophies is not the easiest thing but i've definitely gotten that before in one series or at least close to it i know i've gotten at least like two thousand but for the most part you guys want to be getting that done now the best way to get that done you really want to be focusing on your missions tab again missions tab is the best place for some stuff like this so month dedication, series of multiplayer wins. Just get these done. Get these all done. Once you get all these done, especially for all you guys grinding out on seasons, head-to-head, -head, uh, month rank draft, <coughs> or salary cap, you're going to be able to get these up all the way. And I, I don't know the exact total, 120, 240, uh, 360, 480, 5, uh, 600, 660, 720, 780, 8, 810, give or take, 840. It looks like it's going to be close to about... 
900, 930 ish trophies. That's almost a thousand. They'll give you a little over half to get one of those uh, collectibles and more. And then you also get them for playing the seasons, like finishing a season, making the playoffs, so on and so forth. So just make sure you're getting that done. That should get you at least a collectible and a half plus season. You're probably end up getting about two collectibles there. So make sure you're getting that done. Focus on your trophies. Now, maybe more things come out for trophies as time goes on. So make sure you have your trophies just stacked up. Now, do remember after every series, your trophies do cut in half. So make sure you do use them all as you do get them as well. And then, guys, you want to kind of be prepared for what's to come. So we do have much Superstar or Superstar MVPs coming out on Friday, which is the part two of them. Guys, considering we don't have the promo coming out so Friday and we have a lot of free time, even with this weekend, we're not going to have anything based like heavyweights, weekend league, any of this stuff just yet. The best thing I can recommend for you guys to start doing is really grinding out the accounts. Like if you have side accounts too, guys, definitely get those done now because like once a lot of things start coming out like house rules, promos, you're going to be focused on your main account. Side accounts are going to become much, much harder as the year goes on to really maintain. You want to get those up to maximum level now, get all those coins you want to get done now. If you're if you're a grinder, grinder, no money spent kind of guy, definitely be doing that right now during when we have nothing else to do. Be getting those done, especially when, like I said, like you're not focused on anything else. And when you're maximum level 15 on all of them, you can always hop in every single series and get the new maximum level very quickly because you're going to only be 10 levels away. So guys, make sure you are doing your legend solos with the tokens, like I said before. The tokens are super important. These expire on 9-5, so we have three days to do them. I plan to get them done most likely today because I do definitely want that free boss legend in... We don't know the exact timetable, but I definitely recommend you get them done because it. Oh, my, my guess was around all, uh, October, but the issue with October right now is that we didn't get any extra for this midweek release. So we got five for the first week and you really don't want to miss these five because these five, it will really sting you if you don't get these five done because you're going to be super behind, especially if each week only drops a two. So definitely be getting these done as soon as possible because once they expire, you're going to get real, real backed up. And those legend release, these souls aren't really that important to me. I really don't like playing them unless you need their power up. If you need their power up, it's the cheapest way to go ahead and do that. But in terms of actually the solos being beneficial, they're not really just, just for the power. But then they end up going for like 4K. If you, want to, if you don't want to waste your time, just you can always pick them up for like 4 or 5K, depending. But the Legend Tokens, super important. Definitely getting those done. I last year missed that one week of Mutt 10. I was so pissed off because I never got my free player later on because of that. So I recommend you get that done as soon as possible. They don't take too long. Just uh, chew clock. They'll probably take you a little over an hour to do all of them if you chew clock properly. Maybe an hour to two. Pending. There are full games, like I said, if you chew clock, it doesn't take you more than like 10, 15 minutes per game or less if you're really focused on it. Sometimes, you know, you zone out, you go on your phone, you do other stuff. But that's as far as what you want to be doing with these solos. Now, we, I do expect a house rules coming in the near future, hopefully to kick off the year sometime uh, in September, of course, this month. I do expect one of those. So you, you don't need your team up to par for any of those things, but you definitely want to start focusing on the market. And in my opinion, you want to start watching the trends and you really want to be waiting for the next crash because on the next crash, when it's going to be a great time to buy your team, and you can rock with that team for the month of September, right? So for me right now, the market's super high. I capitalized, I made my coins. Now I'm waiting. The next crash I see, I'm buying my team and I'm going to rock with that team for weekend league, for solo battles, for um, headset seasons, for everything. And that's what I really wanna be doing right now. But again, it just makes sense to wait, but definitely be watching because if you make the next crash, it might be a while to the next, you know, the, ne the next like big crash to buy on. So make sure you're waiting for that. I'll probably be, when we do get like a kickoff promo, if it's not a money grab, but my biggest guess is maybe a team of the week. When team of the week drops, things should be coming down. Or when we get Mutt Heroes, of course. But that's all sometimes this month. Or Mutt Heroes might even be at the beginning of October, depending. So don't don't bank on that too much. You definitely gotta be watching. You might if you miss it, you might be a little behind there. But that pretty much wraps up the majority of what I really want to cover today and what you should be doing now, Madden. Again, just use this time to grind. Enjoy the time period because once things start dropping heavy, you're gonna be on top of that all week. Buying cards, selling cards, buying cards, selling cards. Really use this time to figure out chemistries, figure out abilities. I don't recommend just buying them yet because the, the, the extra training value. I Also, by the way, I don't recommend you do a touching training right now at all. I don't think there's a time for training. Wait for the market crash. Wait for training to get to a, an average an average price because right now training is so overpriced. Sometimes it costs more to get abilities and power up the card than it costs to buy the card. It's just absurd right now. Don't touch training, which is why I haven't really been touching too many of my power passes. They're good to have. They're great to use. They're one of the best things in the game. But I'm waiting to it makes sense to use it because right now, too, just use a power pass. It'll cost you more to buy the power up of that card power all the way up that it will just have just bought the elite card so the savings there aren't really as beneficial as you may think so that is why i'm kind of waiting on all that but yeah just use this time to really learn what you're going to do figure out if you're going to be a runner passer figure out all that stuff grind do all the stuff you got to be getting done and i really think it's important to be playing seasons right now seasons polish your skills on seasons get some trophies easy to make coins on season guys if you get people to quit pretty fast you get like 700 coins, 1,500 coins. As you get higher in divisions, two, three k, you get some, you get some uh, rewards at the end. You can make playoffs, and you're getting trophies while doing it. You're getting out your daily objectives, and you're also going ahead and getting better at the game. Because this obviously you have to learn, you have to adjust the new game, the new animations, the new mechanics. So it's definitely a great way to be doing it. 
again, like, I hate losing, so for me to go play with this team, I don't want to do it, but for people who don't really care about the record and they just want to learn the game, go ahead, rock with it. And a lot of you guys probably have a team, not everyone really sells like that. I just, I just felt like there was no, but there was the best opportunity to go ahead and do so. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're not to the channel, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to go voice and join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys are doing. Which one of those things that I mentioned you guys gonna be focusing on? For me personally, it's heavy, heavy, heavy. Watching them for that time to buy my team because I want a team really bad. Buying that team, going ahead, and then grinding out seasons, week and league, and all the all the above. And then of course getting those legend souls on my own time. I usually don't play them here. When I, when I leave for the night, I, I bring my iPad and stuff and I play my Xbox from there with some screencasting I have. I usually, I knock out solos back in bed and stuff, so that's typically how I handle all that. But for the time being while I'm here, I plan to just knock out a ton, a ton of online games so I get it. But guys, about it. Make sure to subscribe. If you guys need coins for anything, go down below to muttreserve.com. Make sure you use code Poodle, 15% off. And that's about it, guys. Make sure to sub. Let's get to 23K. Peace.